Hey everyone, welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen, Independent Couture, A with Chalk Couture. How are you? As you come in, please make sure you say hello. In the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is that share button. I would love it if you would share my video. Uh, in addition to that, if you are catching this live, please make sure you see that little red box up there. I would love to welcome you on the live video. Or if you are on YouTube watching this, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as again, I would love to share that with you. So I'm so excited you're here. I'm just getting everything set up. Just give me another minute. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, get this all set up. Hey, welcome. So hey guys, welcome. Sorry, I was just getting everything set up. So I'm super excited to be here. This is going to be a fun, quick project. You guys, you know I love making my t-shirts, my DIY t-shirts. So that's what we're, that is what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to be doing our ink. But for those of you that are new, I want to tell you a little bit more about what this is. So real quick, this is a company that is called Chocotour. We have a revolutionary DIY home decor product that you cannot find anywhere else. We do offer a line of silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste and our Couture inks. Now we do offer several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frames. We do have some canvas pillowcases and totes. But you can use our products on an array of surfaces, you guys. So you can use this um, on wood, windows, dry erase board. You can also use this on, like I said, I'm doing a t-shirt tonight. You can do pillowcases, dish towels, the list can go on and on. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity to be a designer like myself for just $99. You're going to get this amazing kit that is over $240 worth of product. So if you're watching this tonight, and you think like, this is really cool, I want to know more. Maybe you're a crafter, a craft blogger. Maybe you're a, a mom that stays at home. Or maybe you're looking for a part-time income to do something fun. This is a really great opportunity and I would love to share that with you. So just make sure you comment info below and I will make sure I get that to you. So let's get this party started, right? Oh, and you guys, by the way, if you're on my page, we have some amazing last chance Easter transfers available. So if you go to my website, like I said, they are a last chance. They're going to be on that section there. Check it out. And it's again, while supplies last. All right. So just wanted to throw that out there. So like I said, we are going to be using our inks. So at Chalk Tour, we have our chalk paste and then we have our inks. Our inks are made to be permanent. So what happens is when you use the ink, you heat set this and that makes your design permanent. Okay, super cool. We have our amazing transfers and then we have these really cool things called our ink mats. Now I love these, you guys. This is actually one whole ink mat and I cut it just because it fits easier when you cut it and it was made to be cut as well. So I cut that in half. These are also reusable. Okay, so when you're done with these, you clean them up with water, just water, and then you let them dry and you can reuse them again. Now these have kind of like, can you see that? There's like a little bit of an adhesive side on there. So that's the side you're going to leave facing up. So I'm just going to stick this right in between my t-shirt layers, you guys. And by the way, this t-shirt, nothing fancy. It's from Michael's. From Michaels and if you want the product list of everything I'm using tonight um, I don't have the link for the t-shirt like I said I just put that it's at Michaels but I can also send you the link for all the products from Chalk Couture just comment product below and I'll make sure I get that to you so I've laid my ink mat in between my t-shirt layers why do I love these Number one is because it prevents any bleed through if you should have a thinner fabric. Number two, what you just saw me doing, it allows me to smooth out my surface, you guys, and gives me a nice, let me make sure you're straight there, 
a nice even surface that I'm going to be able to ink on. And then it also prevents it from moving, my fabric from moving. Okay, so there's three kind of purposes behind our ink mats and that's kind of why I absolutely love them. So I'm going to get my transfer and I'm telling you this is going to be like a super quick project. Super quick project. So I'm just taking it out of this little package. Now right on the back of, hey Lorelai, how are you? Oh, let me get this started real quick. I'm just heating up my heat press off to the side here. Okay, so right on the back of each and every one of our transfers, it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. You can use these transfers anywhere from 8 to 15 times. So even though I'm doing this t-shirt tonight, if I wanted to make a cute little sign of this, or if I wanted to put this on a cute little cosmetic case, you can absolutely do that. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. Now you want to make sure you write on the back of your transfers, because again, this carrier sheet is what your transfer will go back on once you clean it up. Okay, so I just want to make sure. Hey Lori, welcome. So I'm just going to take my finger and rub this right over the edge to get it started. I'm going to flip it over, remove my carrier sheet, set that off to the side. You have a blizzard? No way! It's like, it's like 58 degrees here. What? Blizzard? That's not good. Okay, so I'm going to lay this right down where I want it. Like I said, this is going to be an easy peasy design today. And I'm just kind of, I, I know people tell me not to. I'm just using my tag as my middle position and kind of eyeballing it. I, I am a huge eyeballer when it comes to putting things on things. I, I do not use, I'm sorry you guys, I don't use a ruler. I, and it's funny because I am very OCD about a lot of stuff. But that is just one thing I, I tend to do fairly well. But all right, so I think I'm going to go with right there. I'm going to smooth this out so there's no air bubbles in my transfer. Okay, so only where your silk screen is, is where you need to make sure you smooth it out so there's no air bubbles. Okay, so messy hair, don't care. That's me today, you guys. I need a haircut really bad. I need my hair dyed. Yeah, it's not even funny. So I'm just getting a paper towel. And the reason I'm getting a paper towel is because I'm going to be using my ink and I like to put them closer to me. And I want to make sure I don't get it on my t-shirt. So I'm using our Couture, or I'm sorry, oh yeah, our Couture Coral and our Black for this design. Now our inks we have in 32 different colors, you guys. So again, tons and tons. Do I have one already open? No, it doesn't matter. Tons and tons of opportunity for whatever color you think you're going to like. So I'm setting my lids off to the side. I just want to, hold on you guys. I thought I had a black that was already open. I do. So let me close that one back up. This one should already be open. There we go. Better, better, better. All right. So just smoothing that out again. I'm going to take my squeegees. And I'm going to dip them right in here. So I'm going to do the messy hair in black. This is going to be super quick, you guys. Super quick. You're going to be like, what? You're done. And that's why I love this. All those really cute, DI or those cute like saying t-shirts that are out there. Like we have some really cute sayings. We also have individual fonts available that if you wanted to make your own sayings on your t-shirts, you can totally do that. But we have, like, these are so cute. I think this is an awesome saying. Messy hair, don't care, because that is for sure me. So just pulling my ink across my surface, scraping off my excess, you guys. Now, are you ready? We're already going to peel and reveal. That's it. It is this easy so far. So you're going to peel top to bottom, never corner to corner. Are you ready? Now, when you're peeling and you're doing ink, I recommend peeling slow. Don't rip it off like a Band-Aid, you guys. Peel it off slow. Put your transfer in your water and look at that. Look how perfect that is. I am sorry, but that is awesome. I don't know if you, here, let me 
put this off to the side. I'm going to lift this up so you can see how great that looks. Look at that. That is so cute. Messy hair. Don't care. Love it. Absolutely love it. So now I need to heat set this. Okay. So first and foremost, I need to let it dry. All right. So the one thing I am going to do, actually, let me turn that off for one second. I can't have my heat press on and my hair dryer. It does not work. I'm going to take my hair dryer first just to help dry it a little bit before I go over it with my heat press. Okay. So you guys, what I want to tell you with this is if you do not have a heat press, you do not need one. If you have an iron, it will work absolutely fine. And I'm only using my hair dryer right now because I want to speed this along for you. So that you can see how it all works. Absolutely, Lynn. I will send you the link so that you can see the um, different fonts because we have several different fonts. And let me tell you, if you like Ray Dunn, we have one that you are going to absolutely love. All right, so I think that's good enough. Let me turn my heat press back on. Turning this back on. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take out my mat from in between. You never want to um, use your iron or your heat press with your ink mat in there. It, it, you'll ruin your ink mat, so definitely don't do that. I'm going to take some parchment paper. And I need a piece for each side. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stick one inside my shirt, just like that. Okay, I'm going to stick one outside. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Thanks for watching. Now, I have a Cricut heat press, you guys. So this is what I use. I'm just going to set it on here. I have it on 350. I'm going to hit my button. I'm going to do this 30 seconds on each side. Again, if you do not have a heat press, you don't need one. You would use the parchment paper on each side. You will iron it on both sides for four minutes. Okay, so that's the difference. The heat press, it's 30 seconds on each side, and iron is four minutes. Okay? All right. Let me put this down. I'm going to flip it around. Flip it over, turn it inside out here in a second. Do -do. Just gonna flip it over like that. Again, I'm gonna use my parchment paper. We have so many great designs too, you guys. And that's what's really neat. Like you can do baby onesies. You can do little boys or girls t-shirts. Me, I love making my own DIY t-shirts. And we have some little sport ones. You know, now's the time of year. I think there's um, a baseball one if you've got a boy or girl in baseball. So it's really cute. Check it out right online. You can check it out right on my website. We are almost done. And if anyone has any questions about what I'm doing or the products, just reach out to me. I would love to help you. All right. So, you guys, take this off of here. We are all done heat setting this t-shirt. And now, let me flip it over for you to see. Really quick, check that out. Love it. Hey, Mo, how are you? Yes, you can use wax paper as well. Absolutely. So now, you guys, look. This is all heat set. I can touch it. I can rub it. I can go ahead and put this in my washer and dryer. 
and it's not going to fade as far, you know, at, at, after you wash it, you're going to be good to go. And that's it. Easy peasy DIY t-shirt with one of those cool sayings. So what do you guys think? Do you love it? All right. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want the product list, um, just comment product below. If you're interested in the opportunity because you thought this was the coolest thing you've ever seen, just comment info below and I will get that to you. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your evening, evening and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.